Imagine you spawned into a world where zombies are immortal. Crap, is, is he getting back up? And these zombies are marching towards my kingdom and I have 100 days to stop this unkillable army. Also, there's a necromancer, the god of the underworld, the literal god of death, and this guy who loves his horse and chopping heads off. What monsters will get turned into zombies and will I be able to figure out how to defeat the immortal zombies? Let's find out. The zombie horde was coming. Nothing could stop them. Introduce Oh, the gates have been breached! The zombies are coming! Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Help! What? Zombies! All hope is lost. That regiment was our last defense. We need a hero, my liege. Someone to lead us out of this. Ah! I don't want to be here! I don't want to be here! Go away! Someone who would never hide from a battle. I need to hide. Maybe they don't see me behind this tree. Oh, they see me! They what are you? Why are you so big? All right, let's try hiding in the church. Maybe I'll lose them in there. Someone who will look danger right in the eye and say, I'm not scared. Oh! scared what are what, whoa, 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 run! i booked it over to a catapult and i hid inside when all of a sudden it initiated oh okay okay we're good we're good the zombies crept closer someone who had never tried to escape but face their fears i needed an escape plan and i needed it now wait don't hit that no 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 no, no! i soared through the air i was aiming right for the glass Crap! Oh no, is he okay? I think I just squished a man. Our hero is here. Now let me tell you about your quest. Wait, quest? Uh, I didn't set up for any quest. There are zombies outside. Wait, where, where are you going? Long ago, a powerful wizard, full of greed and lust for power, wished to claim the wealth of this land. And in his greed, he turned to dark magic and discovered a power capable of raising an army. It wasn't until a great hero came and saved the land, sacrificing himself in the process. Legend says that in times of need, the hero would return to finish what he started. And now, here you are. Introducing... <coughs> a block flew directly at my face. The king told me to run, so I took off. Retrieve the power stone. Go to the sun temple and get the sword of legends. The horde had found me. I tried battling back. I was out of options, so I jumped. I need to hit the hay bales. I need to hit the hay bales. I quickly collected some and then was mobbed again. I had to get out of here. I sprinted towards what looked like rails, and then I hopped on a minecart. Ha! Later, losers. I made my way down the tracks when... Wait. No, 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 no. I jumped out of the minecart midair and placed a hay bale just in time. The horde was here. I turned and ran for the trees. I think I lost them. I grabbed some wood. The necromancer was still on my mind. I had to take him out before the 100 days ended. I have heard rumors that a new hero is here. Quick, you must go find the blade before he gets it. I made a wooden pickaxe, collected some stone, and made a stone pickaxe when I heard some music in the distance. Is that zombies? I crept closer. I drew my sword. Wait, they're, they're people. I put my sword away and made my way into the camp. They were gypsies. All of a sudden, one of the leaders approached me. Welcome, stranger. You're welcome in our home. Oh, uh, thanks. Do you know the way to the mountains? The mountains? Hmm, that is not a safe place. Here, follow me. I followed the gypsy lady to her wagon. Whoa, what's that? That is Ares. He's a great judge of character. Now, look into the ball and see what your future holds. I right click to the orb when all of a sudden I was zapped in. The orb will show you what you seek to accomplish your goals, no matter the danger. But beware, peer too close and... Whoa! I zapped back out. I had seen the zombie camp and inside their battle plans. Quick, go capture that zombie. I can help you get into their camp. I grabbed the lead and hopped on a horse and chased after the zombie. There you are. I ran it right over. Gotcha. I began dragging it back to the gypsy. She set up some sort of cages and we put the zombie inside. Now, go into the other cage. I will swap your body so you can get inside the camp. My arms began to change as the gypsy mumbled something. Whoa! I came out a zombie. I raced off to find the zombie camp. Wait, what's that? What's that noise? Ares, you can't come with me. Go back. Bad. I raced to the trees. I had to get to the camp. The necromancer loomed in my mind. He must be defeated by the end of the 100 days. Release the horde. Nothing can stop us now. I crossed the river when I heard a gurgling. Is that? Is that Ares? I dove in after him. I got him to shore. You can't swim. Why are you? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, stay close, buddy. All of a sudden, we were attacked. Run, Ares, run. We sprinted away. Who was attacking us? As I looked closer, I could see they were the king's guards. They thought I was a zombie. I made haste and I hid in the forest. Shh, quiet, Ares. I think they're gone. There it is. We found the camp. I told Ares to stay put. Zombies would probably try and eat him. I made my way to 
towards the tent. I had to be sneaky. If they saw me and saw that I was acting strange, they may try and eat me. When I got inside the tent, I went to the table and then grabbed the map. The plans. They're gonna take the castle and kill everyone. Oh no! Out of nowhere, a zombie came charging right at me. Whoa, 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 chill, chill. It smashed the table. I ran out, but to my surprise, there weren't any zombies around. They were all gathering at the tower. I went over to investigate. The horde was here, and that's when I heard it. The time is nigh. We will wipe the humans from this world. That didn't sound good. I ran off to grab Ares. He did a little jump when I found him. You're a suck up, you know that? We sprinted back to the gypsy camp. Time was running out. I needed to switch back to a human. I jumped inside the cage. Did you succeed in your quest? The zombies are going to attack Asgan Castle. They have some powerful necromancer as a leader. Well, we better get you back into your body so you can continue your journey. You will need to reclaim your sword if you are to defeat them. Otherwise, they cannot be killed. Next thing I knew it was daytime. I had to stop the necromancer before the 100 days, and to do that, I needed to find the monastery the king had tasked me with. Ares followed me again, and we took off. Oh, I hate climbing mountains. Midway up, I heard a rumble, and as I gazed, I saw it. Avalanche, Ares, run! We sprinted for the cave. Is that the court jester? We need to get inside before the avalanche hits. Come on! The king has sent you a message. Um, can we stand inside? Here. Oh, M Monster Legends? The tale of monsters? Monster Legends is a free-to-play mobile game that puts your strategy skills to the test. There there are over 900 monsters to collect with new monsters being released every single week. And each of these monsters can be leveled up and you can boost their powers with runes, relics, and talents to gain an advantage on the battlefield. Monster Legends' most unique feature is their YouTuber island, where you can find monsters created in collaboration with some of the biggest YouTubers yet. But, uh, not me yet. You can find some of your favorite YouTubers, check out their monsters, and put them to the test. Once again, except for mine, because mine don't exist. Yet. If you download the game now using the link in the description or the QR code on screen, you'll be rewarded with 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, and 10 gems. And the most epic monster, Kiari. But remember, this is a limited time offer. So make sure you download the game now and claim the reward so you can get a head start and speed up your leveling process. Do you have what it takes to be a better monster than Mudflaps? Wait, wait, what? Now, back to the zombies. Dude, it's about to hit! I will return now. Good luck! Ooh, that wouldn't feel good. Ooh, that was close. Hey, hey, where's my map? A weird little critter stole it. I chased it down the cave. Gotcha, that's not yours. But as I turned, I was greeted with a whole legion of them. He is taking our master's treasure. Kill him or the ritual will not be completed. Oh, we need to get out of here. As we poked our heads out of the snow, we saw it, the monastery. We climbed the many steps to the top and got inside. That must be the sword we need, Ares. I ran towards it and tried grabbing it, but it wouldn't come off the statue. Hey, you don't need it anymore. Come on. Who goes there? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. I just needed this sword. Uh, can you help? Only those who are worthy can claim the remaining piece of the sword. All of a sudden, we appeared in a room. To prove yourself worthy, you must choose which of these animals dies. I, uh, I... I I, I can't choose. Life shouldn't be chosen by humans. Only God can decide that. All of a sudden, I was zapped into a bedrock box. Well done, but you have one more task. Escape this room in under five minutes, or I will feed your griffin to my pets. No, not Ares. I rushed to figure out how to escape. All my items were gone. I had to get up there. I looked around. I still had my bread. I broke the lectern in the middle of the room. Nothing was under it. Time was ticking. I had to get out fast. I started checking all the dispensers. I had to use my brain. Midway through I found a furnace. This must be a hint. Then I found a clump of iron. I didn't know what this meant, but I didn't have a lot of time to figure it out or they were going to eat Ares. I opened the chest, but the spot I spawned inside and found some random materials. I grabbed the crafting bench, but it still wasn't enough to get me out. I needed six blocks and all I had was three. How do I do this? I decided to smelt down the iron and use the daylight sensor as fuel. Hopefully that wasn't the wrong choice. I then opened up all possible crafting recipes. Chains! I made some chains with the blocks and pillared up. I made it, but into another room. Time is ticking. Best hurry or your griffin gets it. I was going to raise all heck on this monk if he touched a feather on Ares. In the next room, I found it had another portal. Maybe that was my way out. I hopped inside. It brought me to a room. I looked around. All I could find was a hopper. I looked inside and found an iron nugget. I broke the hopper and below a chest. But the items weren't that useful? I had no idea what I was doing. I went back to the portal. Time was almost out. Was that a piston noise? 60 seconds. Are you worthy? I frantically tried 
tried to figure it out, I looked around and I saw some end portals and I went towards them. As I peered inside, I saw it, a copper block inside of an item frame. I broke it, but it still wasn't enough. I inspected the portal. Something had triggered a piston. Me going through it must have triggered it. I threw an item inside and a door appeared. I ran inside. I found a hopper with more iron nuggets and above that, a crafting bench. Ingots, what to? All of a sudden, I realized. Lightning rods. I may be wrong, but I was out of time. I made the pieces and began to bridge up. Come on, go, 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 go. I can make it, I can make it. I made it. Whoa, stop dropping me. I Welcome to the room of the lever. Really? Lever? The task is simple. Flick the lever. Good luck. I hopped down. This was going to be... Oh, uh oh Hello, giant stone man. Just get out. The giant statue smashed me, so I smashed back at it. I don't think I even made a dent. Oh, no. I ran in circles. I grabbed armor. One hit, and I was dead. I couldn't go for the lever. With the full set, I took another swing. Yikes, that hurt. I lured them into the corner and munched down on my bread. Oh, no. What? Help. Help. I made a dart for it. I was knocked back. Come on. Go, go, go. Got it. All right, you guys. You gotta, oh, oh, they stopped. Ah, not such a big guy now. Ooh, whoa. Well done. You are worthy. You may take the handle. Wait, handle? I grabbed the sword, but it seemed kind of small. Oh, my heart. That is only the handle. The blade was lost neons ago. It will slay zombies, but you will need to find the blade. Good luck. I, okay, and he's gone. Nice. Let's get out of here. We need to get more prepared. That necromancer was climbing closer. We had less than 100 days to stop him. He had to be stopped. Now that I found the core, I will be unstoppable. What was that, Ares? Zombies. I had the sword now, so we attacked. They bashed their ugly fists into me, and I met them with my half sword. Ares, be careful. I finished them off. Ares was okay. As we got to the bridge, another was there. Come on, eat some, you dun-dead scum. I let him have it. Ares nibbled his toes and I slashed off his nose. As he fell, we saw something terrible. Holy crap, that's a giant zombie. I had confidence. We rushed in. It dealt a lot of damage. I created space to eat, but Ares was still fighting. I rushed back. Take that. I think we got him, Ares. Nice. Wait, what the? The zombie blew me back. He was not dead. I went in for more swings. Ares was nibbling. I had to get out of there. I was trying to heal, but Ares was taking a beating, so I ran back. Let's go. Picking on a little bird. Aha! The zombie fell, and we continued our journey. After days of traveling, we arrived, the castle of Asgan. As I got closer, I saw guards, but I wasn't a zombie anymore, so they didn't seem to want to kill me. Nice. I made my way inside, where I found tons of people, gypsies and soldiers, all fighting together. Little did they know this battle could not be won. Only I could kill zombies with my sword. If the hordes came, I couldn't stop them all. I looked around where I found a meal hall, and inside the chests, I found various foods. This would be a huge help. I stood on the edge of the walls and looked at the people below. I would help them fight, and maybe to Together we stood a chance. I needed to stop the necromancer from taking this castle if I could. The time was nigh. The knights lined up as the zombies approached. This was our stand. <laughs> Attack my legions. I loosed the catapults. The blocks flew into the enemy and the knights charged. It was a mosh pit. Everyone swinging everywhere. For a moment I felt like we were winning. But the zombies were immortal to normal blades and one by one the knights fell. I battled an entire mob of them. I could take them down. Okay. Maybe not. We need to retreat. To the bridge. To the bridge. We grouped up to the bridge and charged for death and glory. We made our way down the battlements together, united. Let this be the hour that we draw swords together. One by one, the knights fell. It was over. We had lost. Morning broke. Come here, you lowlife. I brought down a straggler. I could only imagine the hordes inside the castle. I felt I had no choice. I had to face the necromancer. But when I got inside, I saw nobody. They didn't want the castle. Why did they attack. I went inside the main castle and found a soldier. Get out while you still can. They got it. The necromancer can't be stopped. What did they get? The soldier ran off. I had to get to the power core and stop the necromancer. No! A zombie had killed the soldier. I rushed down and began battling. He just wanted to be free. Why? I removed whatever life essence this undead creature had. We ventured through the woods. I had to face the necromancer and his undead army before the 100 days was up or else all was lost. Is your master ready? Yet. No, we almost have enough gold though. Good. Is that music? The gypsies! I found the camp again. I rushed in, the music blazing, everyone happy. Little did they know the doom that was coming. I ran over to my friend. You're back. Can you stop them? I can't defeat them all by myself. Ah. You seek wisdom into the weaknesses of your enemy. Then peer into the sphere. The necromancer is raising an army of more powerful creatures than the world has ever seen. But they are not all powerful. They gain their power from the Stone of Corsius. Without it, 
The dead can be returned to their rest. If you wish to defeat the armies, you must destroy the stone. I snap back. I had to get to the stone. Ares? Ares? Where'd you go, buddy? Ares had grown up. Hearts flooded with him as I pet him. Aw, oh, he's so cute. We were off. I had no choice. I couldn't claim the power stone that the king wanted. I had to destroy it. The only way I could do that is by blowing it up, and I had an idea. I arrived at one of the last strongholds in the land, looking for a TNT wagon. So much life here. We need to save these people. I roamed around and found some carts inside the castle. I made my way into the halls to see if there were guards. What's this? Inside a chest, I found a shield. I decided to take it. All right, once we grab these, they won't be happy with us. We gotta be quick. I ran to the carts and hopped on. Ha! I raced through the streets. The guards were in chase though. As I ran through the fields, I realized I had to come up with an escape plan. Oh no! A barrel fell off and the bridge exploded! There! Dead ahead, I spotted a cave. I hustled inside. The night rode by. I held my breath. He's gone. Wait, what's all this? I looked around. I could hear strange noises. I jumped in when all of a sudden... What are these? I fought them blinded and weakened. These were some sort of undead monsters. I block sprinted away and got to a chest. Inside, I found some sort of ancient chest plate. I put it on. All right, time to die. Or like, 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 re-die. I swung as fast as I could. The mummies dropped to my blade. Zombies too? Why are there zombies down here? I found another undead zombie in the corridors and took him out. A broken path. I wonder what's on the other side. I tried placing blocks, but it didn't let me. I was going to have to parkour this. I made the first jump. My palms were sweating. I continued to make jumps as my heart raced faster and faster. I got to the pillar where I had to climb around it on the ladders. One, come on, two, and come on, three. Ah, I never did it myself. I made the final jump. As we pushed into the caves, though, a name tag appeared. Uh, oh! A block flew right at my face. It was a giant ogre. Holy biscuits, he's massive. Come on, taste my half sword. I gave him everything I had. Something unnatural was happening down here. I retreated back and pulled Ares out. You stay. I rushed back in. Those zombies and mummies were here for something. I jumped jumped off the pillar and sunk my blade in. The bigger they come, the harder they fall. He fell. Now, what was he protecting? It's the blade. I put it in my inventory and then left. I made it back to the carriage. The guards had left. It was now time to get to the power core. I had to stop the necromancer before the 100 days was up or else an evil would be unleashed. He's found the blade. He cannot get in the way of my plans. I will lure him here and you will end him. As you wish. That doesn't look so good, Ares. As I rode up to what was a giant tower with lava chasms everywhere, I knew I had my work cut out. The power core must rest atop the tower. I needed to destroy it with the TNT. Holy crap, get back. Ah, shoot, I'm on fire. Zombies flooded out at me. They were trying to stop me. This is hard. Okay, let's let's try taking them down. No, maybe him. Okay, oh, lava, lava. Okay, not good, not good. I wasn't even going to make it to the tower. I got bounced back. Everyone was converging on me. I need to get back to the wagon and ride. Come on, come on. I tried to get back onto the wagon, but I couldn't, and then it was pushed into lava. I backed off. Elephants, giants, zombies, I did not sign up for this. Wait, no! The mobs were attacking the carriage. I had to stop them. No, no, no! The carriage blew up. I needed that to destroy the core. With no carriage, I sprinted for the tower. I'd have to figure out something to do when I got to the core. I sprinted to the bridge. I need to make it across. Mummies! I destroyed the mummy, but was beaten back by the giant zombie. Come on, push through. I looked behind me. The horde was coming. The only way was forward. Half a heart. Oh! The giant zombie pushed me in, so I ran. I had to get to the power core, even if I died trying. This fortress is massive. I pillared up. The power core appeared. I was close. Maybe I could push it off or something. Oh, come on. Giants were atop the tower, and they bashed me back. The power core went down in health. I tried fighting back, but I was getting obliterated. I can't get to it. I need to destroy these things. As I retreated again, I noticed the power core was down in health even more. The giants! I need to make them hit the core. They smashed it, and the health went down. I battled them in the corner. Come on, dumb sword. Do more damage. It was tight. I was thrown off. No, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, oh my gosh. How am I alive? I pillared right back up with no food and four hearts. I need to get them to hit this once more. I ran straight at it. Come on, hit me. Hit me. It did no damage. Then it was destroyed. I began making my escape. I need to take less damage. Crap, this is bad. I got off the tower with half a heart. One hit, I was done. I had to slay the necromancer. I couldn't die here. The horde was following, but I was faster and I 
I made it out. I stopped by the kingdom on the way back and, um, borrowed some wheat. I made it into bread. Oh, hello, I'm just gonna... Okay, all right, okay, oh, she's following me. Go, Ares, go. We went into the mines and began mining to replenish my armor. I grabbed some iron ore and smelted it down. Now, to find the forge, where would a legendary hero hide one? I went to the graveyard where the legendary hero was buried. There must be a hint. Let me just... Oh, nothing under here and there and... Here. But when I peered through the iron bars, I saw something purple. Ooh, what's this? I rushed in and without hesitation, I hopped in the nether portal. Whoa, the portal is out. As I looked ahead, I saw a monster, neither dead nor undead. I am the keeper of the forge. How dare you think you can enter such a holy place? Now you will pay the price. Oh, okay, I need to take this guy down. Oh, my sword does, like, no damage. The Soul Knight raised his horse and charged me back. He can fly? We can do this. Get past him and get to the forge. I ate up as he charged a full circle around me. Come here, you brute. This was one of the craziest fights I had ever been in. As he bucked, I charged in again. Watch out, Ares. His horse tried to intimidate me, but I wasn't backing down. I block sprinted away. I regenerated and met him back on my bridge. You won't stand between me and saving the world. He fell. <laughs> Now, I will erase you. Holy crap. What is... Oh, he does a lot more damage now. I raced in, but I was quickly thwarted. He was way more powerful. Come on, Ares. We can do this. Ah, uh, okay. That hurts. My sword is more powerful. Come on. Come on. The knight blazed his swords, and I met him with my own. This was getting crazy. Ah, uh, he's done. The knight fell. Now it was time to find the forge and stop the necromancer. More of you ugly bums. I flew at them. They weren't stopping me. I was this close to forging the most powerful weapon in the universe. Down, you rat. That's back to the original death place you originally died from or something like that. Watch out, Ares! The floor opened up and Ares almost fell in, but he avoided it and we dropped the mega zombie. I pushed forward. Whoa, this is trippy. Who made all this? These must have been crazy builders. I pushed up one of the paths when zombies flew down the stairs. This was their last attempt at stopping me. Me and Ares wrecked them together and began pushing forward. Huh. Now that's kind of weird. I finished off the zombie and began walking through the main gate. As I looked ahead, I saw something orange. I drew my sword. This room is insane. I wonder what other weapons were made in here. It was a giant. I was ready to fight, but he didn't seem to acknowledge me. We're not here for the gold, Ares. Get back here. This must be the Forge Master. I threw down the sword and blade. All of a sudden, the hammer came crashing down. Holy, this is insane. As the hammer crashed, I could feel the surge of power in the room. The sword appeared. Are you going to stop? Or just, okay, I'm just gonna snatch that. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's get out of here, Ares. I had it. The sword would end all this. We began on our way out when I heard zombie noises. Why are they all here? I saw a chest in the distance. I wanted what was in it, so I began attacking. Down you go. An elephant charged. Me and Ares battled back. You've got nothing on me. I dropped the elephant and began battling the mini horde. I felt the power of the blade. Nothing could stop me now as I dropped every single zombie before me. I ran to the chest. Inside, I found mythical armor. I was now ready to face death itself. No one leaves here dead or undead except for me and Ares. I ran up to the elephant and began slaughtering it. The elephant fell. I arrived back at the nether portal and then clicked my sword. Whoa! The sword had crazy abilities. It teleported me back. It would be a long trek to stop the necromancer, but me and Ares were up for it. Is that the court jester? The king has been taken. You must find him. Hey, horse! Get back here! So he's been kidnapped. Hmm. Thank you. You can return now and maybe rest up a bit. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm sure he'd be okay. Now to save the king, the necromancer would have to wait, but I was coming for him. My best guess was that he was at the zombie camp I had found earlier. They must have taken him. I peered up. Careful, Ares. A horde was right there. Crap, they're coming. Let's take them out. We rushed in. Time to kick butt and take names. The horde engulfed Ares. I tried to get them off, but nothing was working. All of a sudden, it seemed like time stopped. Uh, what's, what's happening? Whoa! The earth opened up. We fell right through. Oh, I'm not dead. What's, what's all crap zombies? All the zombies seemed petrified. Nobody attacked. Oh, ye undead belong to me, and you will remain with me like the gods intended. This necromancer you serve does not have Hades' permission. I'm not part of that. Well, let me go. I know you. Ain't here with the dead. You cannot defy an order of the god of the underworld. 
I peeked around, trying to defy the order. All right, we're sending this. I sprinted. Oh, you cannot escape the underworld. I was dead set on escaping. I hopped on a broken bridge and began making my way to the other side. I had to be quick or Hades would catch up. What is down there? Okay, I don't want to find out. I never parkoured so fast in my life. No way Hades could catch up to these fast feet. I was so close, I still didn't know how I could get out, but maybe someone could help me. All of a sudden, an explosion hit me off. Up of you, you think yourself better than the gods. I don't. I simply want to save humanity from the necromancer. The necromancer, a fool's errand. Defeat me, and I will let you out. Lose, and I get your soul. Hades summoned fire minions. Holy crap, he does insane damage. I'm in trouble. I bet you haven't faced this blade before. <laughs> it burns. I was going to have to be tactical in this fight. I sprinted right at him as he unleashed perilous attacks from his staff. Take this. Wait, 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 where'd you go? Of course Hades could teleport. He summoned his fire, but I wasn't backing off. I went in and dealt heavy damage, but his minions forced me away. Half health. I don't care. Let's get him. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Oh, dang. We're doing damage. I retreated back. Hades was furious. No one had fought him like this before. Hades began bringing down literal hellfire as the battle raged. So many minions, and he's bouncing me back. This isn't possible. How do I defeat him? I hid in the corner. I had no food left. It was time for an all or nothing. All right, breathe. Breathe. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I sprinted in with everything I had left, which wasn't a lot in retrospect. I'm not backing down. My sword pierced him as Hades' fire raged all around us. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You may return. I was back. Ares, frick. Nah, now we'll never get to the king in time, little buddy. What do we do? As I looked around, I felt defeated. If they captured the king, they could take over the kingdom. But when I turned, I was stunned. Ares, you, you grew. Holy. Ares was massive. I hopped on him and we flew. This was so cool. We stopped by the old kingdom to grab food before taking on the necromancer. But as I turned, I noticed houses on fire. I quickly made up some food to heal and ran over. Nobody was around. Where was everyone? The whole empire is going up in flames. Something bad happened here. Out of nowhere, a horde of zombies attacked. Oh no, the necromancer's been here. Everyone's dead. I fought the zombies. I almost left, but then I decided to return with Ares and to avenge the villagers that had died, even if one of them did chase me for stealing wheat. Yeah, let's go, Ares. Ares did crazy damage now. Together, we were unstoppable. We cleaned up the mess and then flew on. To the king, Ares, then to the necromancer. We got to the zombie camp, and as we touched down, we were attacked by a horde of zombies. Zombies. They knew I wasn't a zombie this time, and they were out for my blood and Ares' blood. Come on, Ares, let's re-kill these undead creatures. We were overwhelmed. We had bitten off more than we could chew, or we were being bitten by the zombies. Ares, crap, they're swarming him. This wasn't good. I wasn't powerful enough to get them all off of him quick enough. Ares, whoa, whoa, you're destroying them. Ares didn't need my help. He was wrecking the zombies. As a grown-up mythical creature, he could kill zombies too? Who knew? As the last one fell, we pushed towards the tower. The king has to be here. Then we need to find that necromancer or the world is doomed. You you stay here, Ares. I got inside where I was met with another horde. I must be close. Can't die now. Get your hands off me, Frank. Y'all remind me of a really ugly watermelon. As the horde tried to give me a hug, I returned the favor by stabbing them. I ran to the table, ate some food before I was rudely interrupted by a flying zombie. Has no one ever taught you table manners? I brought the group down. It was time to find the king. I ran upstairs. Whoa, zombies. Wait, they're, they're not attacking. As I peered forward, I saw saw him, the assassin who captured the king, and behind him, the king himself. The necromancer told me you'd be here. Wait, what? He was weakened by the destruction of the power stone. So he has tasked me with ending you, so he can raise all the kingdoms with his armies. I've defeated Hades himself. I created Hades. The zombies unfroze and began attacking. You're not going to stop me from saving the king. They pushed me back down the stairs. We went backwards. That's not safe. I plunged my sword into their undead bodies like a knife through expired jello. Satisfying yet sad. The group lay there on the floor. I wasn't even phased. It was time to face down the assassin. Little did I know how powerful he truly was. All right, I'm here. Time to die. I don't have any time to die. The skeleton
skeleton assassin bashed his sword and sent me flying as I came in with chaos unleashed on him. I really should have brought water. I gave him a little poke and then retreated. Come on, that's all you've got here. Taste some. Don't worry, King. Yeah, you'll be able to. I ran around playing poke and chase, a game where you stab and frantically run for your life. Why is he floating? Oh gosh, ouch! The zombie king was no joke. Nice try. Missed me. He then hit me and yeeted me back with his ranged attacks. I really need to become undead. I want these powers. I was so close. I hid in the library and needed to heal. I knew he would come in any second, and when he did, I would pounce. Let's go. Welcome, you son of the undead. It was now or never. I swung with everything I had. He lifted himself in the air. Half a heart, and he's down. I ran out, made a diamond pickaxe, and got the king out. Come with me. We ran outside and hopped on Ares. We arrived at the castle. It was completely destroyed. The necromancer must be here. You stay back, king. I'll face him. I made a water bucket quick in case he had crazy powers that could drop me. The king then gave me some items, golden apples and steak. Interesting you carry steak around. I pushed forward with Ares, looking for the evil one himself. There he was. The necromancer stood across the field, weakened. It was now or never. I drew my sword and began sprinting towards him. You're going down. Whoa! The blast knocked me back. All right, time to wait. What's... As I turned, a dragon exploded through the building behind me. What on God's green earth? How? If I could kill the necromancer, the dragon would lose its power. I rushed in, but the dragon began blasting fire. I put the fire out and raced at the dragon. I smashed at its head, but then it bit me. My health was being drained, so I ran for cover. The necromancer began blasting me as I ran. Crap, dodge, dodge. The dragon flew up into the air and belted out a roar and then released a fiery blaze like nothing ever before. As the fire ceased, I ran back towards the necromancer and released my full power onto him. You will not have this world. Wait. What, wait, what's happening? My feet weren't touching the ground. What? The dragon picked me up and flew up. He brought me higher and higher. I had no way of getting down. I left my water on the ground. If he dropped me, I was dead. Unless I placed a crafting bench, made a boat, and then landed in it. I looked up, drew my sword. This is over. I charged. The necromancer blasted. As I swung my sword, he fell to one knee. I almost got him. Whoa, the dragon knocked me back. As I looked up, I saw its giant head above mine. It was over. Griffin smashed into the dragon and knocked him off. The necromancer dodged his blast and then cast the final blow. We did it, Griff. We... No, Griff. With the necromancer dead, Griff wouldn't survive. I ran to the necromancer's staff. The power source. I can't. But Griff... Don't forget to claim the limited time offer from Monster Legends right now using my link in the description or the QR code on screen and you'll receive 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the Monster Kiari. I didn't do that.